just to be on the same page, even though I'm sitting on my toot for a medical reason, all the upcoming, but I'm going to say today is with one T only. But, 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 that's not our subject. Mr. Contest Chair, fellow Toastmasters and distinguished guest. But, it's one of the weird word in English language, isn't it? It sounds something and yet, it means something else. It's a magical word. For example, you can say two opposite things at the same time and still make a total sense. Let's say you want to give someone a negative feedback. They will get mad at you. But if you add the word but, they will accept it with a smile. For example, when your brother drop you by his car and you say to him, thanks for the ride, brother, but your car stinks. Do you think he will be mad his car stinks? In fact, he will smile and smell himself. And then your brother reply to you, you look sharp today, buddy, but dude, you still don't look like any member of our family. And then you fight back hard and told him, okay, Mr. Toastmaster, go enjoy your meeting. And don't forget when you evaluate to say, oh, your vocal variety is so good, but it still needs improvement. Oh, your content is amazing, but it's not organized. Your conclusion is so brilliant, but I couldn't find it. At the end, both of you end up confused. Should you be happy, feel bad? <laughs> I don't know, you tell me, but that's not our subject. Do you know that you can humiliate someone and Compliment him at the same time with no hard feelings at all. Let's say you're having a lovely dinner with your mom and she told you, you are the ugliest kid I've ever met, but you have a pure heart. And then you reply to your mom, mom, the food you cooked tastes like vegetables flavored frozen yogurt, but Nice try, mom. And then she fight back hard and said, I know you might thought, hmm, why do I look different from my other brothers? But the truth is, you will always be my son. I know it's confusing, but you know what? Sometimes the word but can keep you on your butt and stop you from doing something stupid. And yes, the second but was with a double T. But again, that's not our subject. Let's say you are going to an Indian restaurant, extremely hungry, and wanted to order all the chicken tikka, tikka masala, shrimp biryani, gel freezing, butter chicken. Oh boy. But you said, hey, hold your horses, tiger. I don't want to clean the dishes after that. I only got 50 real. Or have you ever wanted to wear a superhero custom to show to your friends? But remember that your favorite superhero is, and you don't want these mean boys to see you wearing your underwear above your pants. That's not our subject, guys, focus. But unfortunately, but can also prevent you from doing something crazy. And don't get confused. Stupid is bad, but crazy is, oh boy, it's so good. In fact, the world needs more crazy people, more crazy ideas and more crazy actions. When I was a 10 years old man, I liked standing on a stage in front of an audience. That's why I joined the school morning broadcasting club, you know, read the Quran, inside of the day, etc. But I stopped after a few months because of kids laughing at my mistakes. <laughs> I made a lot of mistakes, my friends. The kind of mistakes that made the teachers stand next to me on the stage to correct me live. I couldn't handle this crazy situation anymore and I quit. And for the next 25 years, I kept quiet. 
I don't speak, so I don't make mistakes, so people don't laugh at me. Until I joined Toastmasters and discovered that it's not a cooking class, but it's safe to make mistakes here. At the age of 10, the word but made me take a stupid decision that prevent me from a crazy adventure. But thanks to Toastmaster, I'm crazy again. And all of you here are crazy, but in a good way. Ladies and gentlemen, always remember, use the word but with a single T wisely. And don't use the word but in a stupid way, because you are one but away from a totally crazy life. That's not our subject, but back to you, crazy contest chair.